home. I love how cozy it is. No, not yet. <laughs> here. This is our 1977 31 foot Airstream Sovereign, custom built. Took it down to the frame, the shell, and yeah. restored it from the ground up. We sure did. And in this video, I'm gonna go over all the little things I do in here to make it feel less like an RV and more like a home. I love how homey it feels. First off, we'll talk about textiles, which I love textiles. As you can tell, I have lots of things here on the sofa, especially throw blankets, which I think are great if you have dogs or kids and you want to protect the sofa, especially a light colored sofa like this. Of course, my little throw pillows, uh, you can find little micro ones like this for micro sofa. They do exist. Another thing I found that works really great in RVs is low pile rugs like this one here. It is actually a printed rug. I've gone through so many rugs in here, including shag rugs, which really don't do well, especially in a high traffic area like this, where you're always walking from the door in through the trailer. Uh, this rug right here has been the greatest. And then also one at the entryway to catch anything when you're walking in. And if you're struggling to find rugs small enough for an RV, which I did in the beginning, you can find Turkish vintage rugs all over the internet and they are cut in just teeny tiny sizes that are perfect for little RV entryways and micro kitchens and bathrooms. Also, pro tip, guys love throw pillows. The more the better and they make them feel really cozy and loved. And while we're on the subject of textiles, yes, this is a real apartment sized sofa that we purchased, we did not make this. We have tried making sofas before and it's very difficult. It took three tries before we made a comfortable one in our old Airstream. So this time we bought one and I like how it looks. It just looks like a normal old sofa and in some shots of the Airstream, you wouldn't even know this is a trailer. So that's another good way to make this look more like a home. Is it fastened down? No, it's not. We have gone literally thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of miles and it hasn't budged. When things are heavy enough, especially in the front half of a trailer, you don't have to fasten them down, at least from our experience. Apartment size sofas are the perfect size for most RVs, smaller ones anyway, like an Airstream. And you do have the added bonus of being able to put storage underneath. Shoes in here and then clothes on the other side, depending on what season we're in. And also, a pro tip about storage like this, guys love baskets. They love putting things in baskets and they love being organized. So this front half serves as both our eating area and my desk, which is right here. Jason has his own separate desk in the back behind a door, lovely. And he does have the same rattan chair. And pro tip, studies show that men prefer stylish rattan office chairs over orthopedic office chairs 10 to one. Ow! Plants. Yes, it is possible to have plants in an RV. And I have proven it. I have had plants in an RV for many years now. I have almost all of them that you see here secured with either an eye hook or just heavy duty tape. That's all you need. And I have tried almost every type of plant in here and I can say that almost everything does well in this environment, especially if you have an RV with tons of windows. It's pretty much like a greenhouse and the plants thrive in here. Plants that do really well in here, that always thrive, that I have never killed. Pothos, snake plants. Those are the two that you just can't go wrong with. And cactus, and succulents, and lots of other ones too. Too many to name. And pro tip that I found, guys love traveling with plants. And if at first you think they don't appreciate them and think they're a nuisance, just buy more. And the more they see, the more they realize they love them. Ow! Another big wish list I had for our kitchen is open shelving, and that is also possible if you use Gorilla Tape and if you put things up here that you don't normally take on and off. Like plants, more plants. Who doesn't want more plants on their shelves? So these are all also secured with Gorilla Tape, even the little antelope guy here. All this stuff stays up when we drive. This is fastened to the wall with eye hooks. So I mean, yeah, it's open shelving. It looks open. Looks like it'll fall off, but it doesn't. This wall over here has useful things on it that we use like glasses and jars and our coffee mugs. And that is one shelf that I have to pack up every time we move, but it's not a big deal. And I don't care, because I love it. And last, one of my favorite things to do to make an RV feel more like a home is lighting. It's 
string lights to be exact. I love string lights, they're everywhere. I have them up here, I have them in the bathroom, and I have them in the bedroom strung across the ceiling. My favorite type of string light is this type that has two different power sources you can choose from, either little AA batteries, or you plug them straight into the wall. So no matter what you're doing, where you're camping, if you're plugged in or not, you can always have your string lights. And pro tip, guys love string lights, especially in the bedroom, especially right next to their face when they're watching TV. They love the warm glow. And it, just, it just makes them feel cozy. <laughs> See it. It's so cozy in here. I was joking earlier. So that's it. If you have any tips and tricks for making your RV feel more cozy and homey, let us know below. <laughs> and be sure to slap that like button and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Yep. <laughs> slap that like button. Don't hit it. You slap it. Slap it. And subscribe. Yeah. See, see you next, next time. time. Oh, you over my line. <laughs>